Hi, I'm Carrie Hoffman. I work with exceptional executives to understand and apply digital ways of working so they can thrive at the accelerated pace of 21st century business. I do this as CEO of Hoffman Digital, which is a collection of companies including Get Digital Velocity, where we work with large enterprises on digital strategy and roadmap, as well as Focal Point Business Coaching, where I do business coaching for small and medium-sized business, as well as executive coaching in large enterprises. The most important skill that I've developed over time is stepping out of my comfort zone and really owning my own development. This is a key skill for anyone and um, it helps you build expertise in a shorter amount of time. I, I remember the first time uh, someone asked me to apply for a leadership role and I said I wouldn't take that job in a million years. <laughs> Six months later I was in that job. And it was a big stretch for me, and it was a difficult job because of the culture that I was inheriting. But I've learned that you grow the most when you step out of your comfort zone and do something completely new or completely different. It's not easy, but I don't believe in years of experience. I believe in how many years of experience you can get out of one year. And when you make those major changes in your career, that's when you grow the most. That's when you learn the most. Even negative feedback and making mistakes, that's a gift. That's a gift that, that anyone can use and that's a gift that I've used over time. I know that I've grown the most when I've made mistakes and it's really about how you um, react to those mistakes, what you do to get to the next step in your career. And yeah, so the skill I would say is stepping out of your comfort zone and really building some expertise over time by learning something new. So the question is, how does one master the skill of stepping outside of your comfort zone? Well, it can be scary, for sure. And you have to take that first step. You can do it one step at a time. Uh, the, the way to do it is to uh, take on extra projects where in whatever you're doing, whether you're working for a major corporation or you have your own business. Just really take on extra things. Um, seek out mentors that can help you through it. And um, again, it's about taking that risk, about taking that first step. Uh, and you will gain so much more experience through doing that. I think the other important thing to remember about mastering this skill is that feedback is a gift, especially negative feedback or making mistakes. That's a gift. That's not a bad thing. It's a gift. And if you look at it as a gift, then you can turn it into a lesson learned. And the experience that you will gain from making mistakes or receiving negative feedback is so much larger than the expertise that you'll gain by you know, thinking you need to do everything right. So step out of your comfort zone, take feedback as a gift, and really learn from your mistakes. And in that way, you can grow years of inexperience in just a short amount of time. Hi, Mika. This hey, is, how are you doing? I'm great. It's so I'm so um, excited to be able to talk to you. This is awesome. Okay, so Carrie Hoffman, you're CEO of Hoffman Digital, and I watched your video. Um, you you've got a lot going, but um, I'm, I'm curious. I want to ask you a little bit about your business coaching business. Yes. Um, but first, I noticed that your sort of skill or advice is that you, you know, step outside your comfort zone. That is like a huge know your value piece of advice. Take a risk. I think women are afraid to do that. Did you know, have you noticed that? Absolutely. I think women are very afraid to do that. I used to, um, when I worked in corporate America, I mentored a lot of women. Um, I'd say in the second half of my corporate career, what happened, I have, I have a story. I, I grew up with, I've got two brothers. I grew up in a street of all boys. Um, I worked in a hospital with 95% women in a lab for 10 years, and then I joined Johnson & Johnson, one of the best companies to work for. I, I felt, and I was moving up in that corporation, and I felt like you must have to do something wrong to hit a glass ceiling because I seem to be advancing just fine. And then I hit a glass ceiling. And when I hit that glass ceiling, I was completely shocked. 
Like, because I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> and, but I, you know, J&J is great with mentors, and I had a great set of mentors there. And um, they, you know, I worked through the, the challenge of hitting the glass ceiling with my mentor. And, um, and I just, I learned so much from that experience. And I, I read the book, How to Play Like a Man and Win Like a Woman. And it just trans, totally transformed the way that I mentored women. Uh, because I started to understand some of the natural things about how we react as women um, that we mm -hmm. don't want to talk about what we're doing we do, because we think it's bragging, um, that we don't exactly. have our elevator pitch, and that we don't step out of our comfort zones. It's something that I had always done, stepping out of my comfort zone, um, but so many women don't do that. And so I'm, I'm very passionate about talking about that. Um, I think I was fortunate growing up. I was a Girl Scout all the way through high school. I was one of the first girls to sit on the board of directors of the National Girl Scouts. And so I learned how to step out of my comfort zone as part of that Girl Scout experience and taking advantage of that experience. I love it. But so many women it. don't do that. I think, Carrie, that when... Um you know, you talk about women bragging on themselves and feeling bad about it. I mean, that's why I created Know Your Value. Like, know your value and communicate it effectively because no one's going to do it for you. Right. Um, so it's great what you're doing because I think you've got such a, a clear, crisp, focused voice. And I'm sure you can help so many women. I'm so, <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to hear you say that. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> I love it. Do you have any questions for me? I would love to know more about that, you know, your movement, Know Your Value. Well, Know Your Value was a book I wrote, gosh, over a decade ago when I wasn't getting paid my value mm. compared to my male counterparts. And I took every mistake I made and, you know, wrapped it up in a book and talked to a lot of other women who were very successful and realized that they were successful despite the fact that they didn't know their value, that we had a lot of um, insecurities in common. And there are a lot of things that you talk about. Um, and so I work on training women to use their voice, to develop their voice and other simple techniques to actually show that you know your value in your body language, in the way you communicate. And they seem simple, but a lot of women don't get this training. Right. You know, I mean, even how to walk into a room, how to shake a hand and look straight in the eye and hold that eye contact and hold a room in a conversation. So the movement was, for me, I saw a lack of training for women in the corporate world. So I, I wanted to step into it, and I've had so much fun teaching women to know their value all across America and now starting to do so around the world. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love it. How do women get sponsors within large organizations instead of just mentors? Because there's such a difference well, between mentors and sponsors. Such a huge difference, and I think you have to ask. Yeah. I mean, yeah, in fact, I, I ended up sponsoring a woman because she asked. Mm. Um, you know, you just don't, they, they don't show up out of nowhere. It's actually the same philosophy of know your value. You got to go out and get it. I love it. Thank you so much, Mika. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Karen. Nice to meet you.